In today's video, we're gonna be giving you guys an update on the Anubius propagation tank. If you've been following along, this is a series that I've been doing for uh, several months now, and it's actually been really successful. So I'm gonna keep this series going and we're just gonna build on what we've already done in the past. Originally, we started out with just a 40 gallon hydroponic setup that worked pretty well, but it actually did end up morphing over into a 10 gallon dirted setup where I was using miracle Grow potting soil. Um, basically, the plants inside that 10 gallon tank are completely overcrowded at this point, so we're gonna move those plants out of the 10 gallon and back into the 40 gallon setup where we're gonna also use miracle Grow soil. The miracle Grow soil has been super successful with this setup. Each leaf on the Anubius plant has gotten progressively larger from the last, and the plants are putting out new leaves on the regular at this point. So let's go ahead and dive into the content. We're gonna give you an update on the 10 gallon tank first, and then we're gonna go ahead and move all the plants to that 40 gallon, and we'll show you the end product for that. Right guys, so here is the 10 gallon setup. And as you can see, the Anubius plants are pretty stoked in there. And let's go ahead and open the lid and take a closer look. Um, a few updates here. If you haven't seen my more recent videos on this setup, I do have isopods in here as well as springtails. And those guys have been doing an excellent job of taking care of old and dying leaves on the Anubius. We'll see if I can zoom in on a few leaves like this leaf right here has been chewed on by the isopods and that's because the the leaf is dying right so there's really no point in that plant maintaining that leaf it's just wasted energy so the isopods are eating it and producing nutrients for the soil you can see the same thing is occurring on this leaf here and there's a close-up on one of the isopods right in the center of the frame and I'll see if I can find a few other isopods to point out as well. There's a couple of them there. You can see their antennas kind of wiggling around. Uh, I think I have two different species of isopods in here. The one on the right is a little bit different and they don't tend to roll up. And the isopod on the left, which just went behind a plant, uh, they do roll up like your classic roly polies. Um, so yeah, different species. If you guys know the species, why don't you go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. I just picked these dudes out of um, my backyard, flipped over a, a log and picked them out of the ground. And they seem to be actually replicating in here, reproducing. There's a bunch of little babies crawling around at this point, which is pretty awesome. Probably hard to tell, but that right at the tip of my finger is a baby isopod. See how small that guy is? He is like micro. Oh, looks like he's got a sibling <laughs> coming out from behind the other leaf there. Pretty stoked to see that. Um, these dudes are doing excellent work in this tank, so glad to have them. Anyways, back to the plants. As you can see, this leaf here is getting quite large. It's almost four fingers wide versus the previous leaves like this one here. You can see it was a little bit nutrient deficient, so it's a little bit kind of beat up and small and misshapen. This leaf back here was um, the one just before this leaf, I believe. Actually, yeah, I think so. Um, so yeah, each leaf is getting bigger than the last. You can see like this one is, is nice and big and healthy looking. We've got not lots of new leaves coming up on just about every plant. All those, those leaves that are looking a little bit paler in color, those are fresh leaves and they just haven't developed all of their chlorophyll yet. So they will darken up um, in time, like this one. This was a new leaf a couple of weeks ago, so it's got plenty of chlorophyll now. This is the most recent leaf on that plant. You might be wondering what this is, and it's kind of funny, but this is actually an avocado pit. I just kind of got the wild idea just to throw an avocado pit in here and see what happens, and it looks like it is going to sprout. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yeah, you can see, See that color there? It looks like the pit is starting to swell and I think it's gonna send out a root right in that spot. So that's pretty cool. Definitely not gonna be keeping that in here. You know, no doubt an avocado tree would be way too big for a 10 gallon aquarium. But I just wanted to see if it would sprout a few roots and get some leaves. And if it does, who knows, maybe I'll keep the avocado tree in the aquarium room just for fun. There's a new leaf. There's a new leaf. 
There's a new leaf. New leaf. New leaf. New leaf. New leaf. You get the idea. The tank is doing really well. And as you can see, a lot of the leaves underneath, um, the larger leaves are getting shaded out. So they're not getting as much light as they need. So I think it's time to go ahead and pull these guys out. We'll throw them in the 40 gallon tank, which will have a lot more space. Then I can give plenty of, of room for each plant and they can grow in nice and strong and get plenty of light. That way they can grow even faster. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to work. Right, guys so we got the setup all put together as you can see the plants have definitely grown quite a bit and they're gonna have plenty of room in here to grow more so that is awesome I cannot wait to see how this turns out in the next couple of months uh, ultimately I want to have enough plants to be able to completely cover the bottom of this tank with Anubias like really densely planted and I think that that would look pretty cool so we're going to let them grow in here for quite some time and propagate eventually who knows maybe i'll start selling some anubias plants too that would be pretty sweet and then in here i have growing immersed a bunch of um, java fern and that is looking pretty crowded as well so i'm going to have to disperse those into another setup and i think what better place to put those than in this little 10 gallons so Stay tuned for another video where, or actually maybe a series where I do Java Fern immersed as well. So in here, we're probably gonna have quite a bit of Java Fern in the future, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, guys, I love Anubias. It is a pretty sweet plant. Um, that's really all I had for you in today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why don't you go ahead and leave a like. And as mentioned before, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe as well. I do release new content each and every week.